All right, so today we are going to be looking at this Linux air mouse with gyroscope, QWERTY keyboard compatible for Android, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So we're just going to open up this box here and let's see what's inside. Aha! Okay, so inside the box here, we get a very nice short micro USB cable. I can tell you how many like three foot micro USB cables I have. Plenty of those, nothing to worry about. These short ones are the nice ones though, because then when you've got something... You got something big like this and you're trying to charge multiple stuff up at once. You got all these wires coming out and it's a mess and it's disgusting. But if you got these little short ones, you don't have that problem to worry about. So that's wonderful. I, I do like the inclusion of this. We have our instruction manual. And let's see how it is in terms of how well translated this English is. This product is a remote controller with the function of mouse, keyboard, and multimedia Android control. It can provide people a unique and capable tool to operate their PC, smart TV, Android TV box, media player, and set top box. Not bad. They're, they're, th this is a decent instruction manual. Not the best, but definitely not the worst that I've ever seen. So we also have... I don't know what this card is. Is it a sticker? It feels like a sticker, but I don't think I can get this back piece off. It's kind of cool. Um, so, we are going to open up this baggie here, and inside we have the very, very small USB receiver which is nice. It's not going to be taking up a lot of space, even though it is taking up one of your ports. And then we have the remote itself. Ooh, okay. This is heavier than I was expecting. Not like, it's definitely not unbearably heavy, but I was expecting it to be a much lighter, cheaper design. It's, it's got a little bit of weight to it. So, you know, there's definitely something there. And we got a, we, I have a green light blinking at me. I'm not quite sure what that means. Other than the fact that it means it comes with batteries or it comes charged. You charge it up with this. Okay. So on the front, it looks like here we have ourselves a power button, volume up, volume down, a little like left, right and everything. Okay. Home return. So that's like the home and the back button on your Android device. Mouse shake button. Not quite sure what that's going to do. We'll find out. And menu button on Android, which I'm assuming is going to be a right click on Windows, hopefully. And on the back here, we have a full keyboard, which is very cool because it's got like it's like a, it's about the size of a uh, phone keyboard when you're holding it in landscape mode. So your fingers probably already know most of the stuff here. So, um, ooh, that's weird. Okay, they have the O and the P down here. Let me see if you guys can see this. The O and the P are down there. That is going to hurt me. That is going to hurt my brain. So if you're using this, because they're trying to keep it small and compact, they, um, they did have to make some... Some choices here on where to put some of these buttons. I don't know if I agree with all of them, but you're definitely going to have to learn a little bit of muscle memory to use this very well. I hope you're not trying to use this as like a, a regular everyday texting device, though. You're probably just using it to control your TV to look up a movie or something, right? TV box. So we have here my Windows PC. Not sponsored, unfortunately. And let's take our little receiver here, plug it in. All right, so here's what we got. Take a little look here. Now we're gonna see what we can do on this. I'm gonna angle this so that I can also see what I'm doing here. So, let's see if we just, okay. <gasps> Whoa, check that out. It's a gyroscope. So as, as I rotate, oh, that is good. As I rotate the mouse, it moves. I was thinking I'd have to use the arrow keys. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Connection seems really good. It's not lagging. Like, down, down, up, up, left, right. That's... This is solid. I am... Consider me impressed. This is good. Alrighty. So, let's see if we can, um... Let's try and close out a Windows... Ooh, alright, here. We'll try and switch out of tablet mode. That's our challenge here. So, move down a little bit. Now, this isn't because it's difficult to use. It's because I'm at an angle here, and it's messing with my brain. Okay, so we're just gonna... Switch out of tablet mode here. Okay. Close out of our Spotify window. Oh, this is so trippy. Okay. Like, you think it would be like a Wii remote with the sensor and everything, where it's really difficult to move, but it's actually just wirelessly linked up to the receiver. So, I don't even have to be pointing. I can point it this way, and it still works totally normally. That I like. So, we can go down here. We can open up. Win so, if you... Uh, okay is a normal click. And that menu button's a right click. It'll show up in the top corner, though, because it thinks you're using, like, a touchscreen, kind of. What does this shake mouse button do? 
Oh. Okay, so this little this little icon with the shaking mouse here, that turns off the gyroscope. So now nothing's moving on the screen. And now we got it moving around. So that's cool. So if you like if you get stuck in a position where like you're up here and it's really uncomfortable, you can just freeze it and then move it to where you want it to be. That's good. Home back on Windows also works as a right click. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Volume up and volume down. Did it the volume up and volume down work flawlessly on Windows? What about power? So I can shut down my computer. It did it. It's working. Like, flawlessly. Okay. Can I turn it back on with the with the button? Buttons are not bad. I have definitely, definitely seen worse buttons on remotes like this. So, um, let's see what we can do. Let's go into a Word document here. Where's my mouse? There we go. Okay. So we're going to go into a Word document down here. Whoop. And let's just type, type something nice and big for you guys. Nope, I want a capital T. Do you have to hold shift? All right, you got to hold shift. I guess if you, tr you you could probably turn sticky keys on in your Windows settings and that would solve it. This thing is pretty neat. Now, I'm a very fast typer, texter, everything like that, keyboard or a Windows keyboard. I'm definitely slower with this because the O and the P are down there, which is definitely messing with my brain a little bit, but it, I am already getting used to it. And no typos either. It got all the keys. They're easy to press. You know that you press one. They're very tactile. If you listen, you can hear like... You hear that? Like, you know when you're pressing that button. And there's a control button, so you can do, like, control backspace, take out the entire thing. Control Z, put it back in. This is wonderful! Where has this been in my life? If I, if you have an HTPC in your living room as, like, your smart TV box thing where you game and everything, I, I, I can't recommend this for gaming, I don't think, but definitely if you, if you're doing stuff, if you want to sit on the couch and just browse YouTube or something on your computer, this is the thing that you need. This is what you need in your life. I, I love it. This is fantastic. And when you're typing, does it... Oh, look at that. It knows when it... It knows when it's upside down and the mouse isn't moving around on the screen. But then when you turn it back over, bam, there's your mouse again. Off, on. Off, on. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Enough of that.